Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, what a wonderful night. Of course, you came here and you'll be relaxed. You'll be listening to um, a wonderful uh, jazz uh, uh, performance here tonight. But it took almost two months for us to put it up. <laughs> and what is more, tonight, uh, of course, we have, uh, you have listened to what Secretary Clinton said, well, we have another secretary here tonight, and uh, I cannot thank her enough for making all the way from Turkey, just 45 minutes ago, she landed, and she sent a letter to me, or message, uh, through uh, her assistant, Fariba, and uh, Fariba is not here, right? Because she cannot come here. She said, the secretary won't be able to make it. She's so exhausted, and she was uh, you know, in a terrible situation, so please do excuse us. You know, I read this in the morning, and I was really trashed. But I said, <laughs> I said, uh, we have another legend tonight uh, in the shape of uh, uh, Herbie Hancock, and we were uh, to make it with two legends uh, together uh, tonight to honor a uh, great, great uh, man of jazz and music, uh, Ahmed Ertegun. So one is missing, that's terrible. Thank you, Ms. Madam Secretary. Thank you, thank you. And Herbie, thank you, thank you, thank you. Herbie, uh, uh, we one of the host, uh, one of the jazz legends tonight, of course, uh, but it was also quite difficult uh, to have him uh, to join us uh, in a specific day, but thanks to his other engagements that made it possible for us. Thank you, Herbie. And, uh, we, can, we cannot exp uh, appreciate more your presence here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and we have, of course, uh, uh, Mika. Uh, she is our princess. She's, uh, she is great in giving us um, a very strong support from the very beginning of this. Uh, and there were uh, two or three years uh, before when I first arrived, I knocked at uh, her door and she was a little bit skeptical, but later on, um, I think um, we've grown ourselves. Thank you, Mika. Thank you for being with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, maybe, of course, I don't want to say this. I have to skip some of the paragraphs here. I don't want to mention that it will take a little bit longer than as usual uh, because uh, Madam Secretary is looking at me. Uh, she, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, well, but, uh, <clears throat> I think I remember saying uh, in my previous um, um, talk uh, to, uh, to our guests last, uh, uh, during last concert, UNESCO has chosen Istanbul as a venue for International Jazz Day celebrations, which is going to take place uh, in the 13th of April next year. I would like to thank uh, taking this opportunity to UNESCO Director General Irina Bukova, uh, of course, together with uh, 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 Herbie Hancock, uh, but 
there is another institution which re really deserves a lot of uh, applause, uh, and uh, that's um, the Leonus uh, Monk Institute of Jazz. And uh, we have here uh, the uh, institute's uh, president, Tom Carter. Where is he? Yeah, uh, Tom. Uh, tonight, we are here to celebrate Istanbul's selection as the host of next year's International Jazz Day. Well, we, some people, of course, involved um, in the organization of the celebrations, and with some of our friends who have uh, supported us in the staging of uh, Ertegun Jazz uh, Series. Um, with uh, our combined efforts, I am sure the Istanbul stage a spectacular show that will be remembered for years to come. We are committed to giving all the necessary support in that regard. I would like to, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, express my profound gratitude uh, to uh, the Honorable Hillary Clinton, the Secretary of State, both for her commitment to jazz and for always supporting the Artigan Jazz Series. We have, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, uh, while she could not be here, I mean, uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, we are delighted to host some of the members of the State Department here, uh, prominent members, uh, representatives. Uh, the Honorable Esther Bremer. Uh, where is Esther? Ah, thank you, Esther. Assistant Secretary for International Organization Affairs, and the Honorable Ann Stock. Thank you, and thank you for coming. <laughs> Assistant Secretary of State for Educational and Cultural Affairs, and um, Je Deputy Chiefs of uh, Protocol, Natalie Jones, is she here? Um, and Mark Walsh, they couldn't make it. Look at. <laughs> Secretary did it, but they couldn't. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Secretary. <laughs> and uh, do we have Ambassador Masha uh, Yabonovich here? She, she also uh, is not here anyway. Um, well, what I can tell you is that uh, uh, three years ago when I first came here, when we decided to start this jazz series, we had nothing but this historic building and the amazing legacy of Ahmed and Nesuhi Ertegun, the two brothers who resided here during 1930s and 40s. However, that alone wasn't enough to bring this series to life. After all, we were not jazz professionals. Um, in that regard, we were and still are extremely fortunate to have jazz at Lincoln Center on board. And uh, without their professionalism, this series could not have become a success. And I would especially thank to uh, Cat Henry. Where is Cat? Thank you, Cat. Thank you. <laughs> the, the other key ingredient in the realization of the series was uh, the funding, of course, without money, no free lunch, no nothing. <laughs> I, I cannot thank uh, the Coca-Cola company enough, in particular my dear friend Mukhtar Kent for their commitment to the series. Uh, they became our official spo sponsor and I'm happy to tell you that Coca-Cola kindly agreed to continue uh, to sponsor us next year too, and thank you very much. Um, but none of these would have mattered had we missed one crucial component in the staging of Artigan Jazz Series, the Artigan family, the whole family. Of course, tonight, as I uh, introduced you a while ago, uh, we have uh, Mrs. Mika Artigan, uh, and I thank her again for giving her blessing to this series, uh, without which I believe uh, these series could not have come to being. Mika was kind enough to travel all the way from uh, New York 
uh, just to spend two hours here with us and uh, she will go back immediately after this uh, 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 performance. Mika, thank you, thank you, thank you. And And we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, Miss Leila Attigun. Where is she? She should be somewhere here. Okay, Leila. Uh, Leila is the daughter of Nesuhi Attigun, another great uh, Attigun family member. He, and uh, she is also uh, greatly supporting uh, this uh, effort in being in each and every performance with us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Leila. Um, we have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't want to just uh, go ahead and talk about this. Uh, of course, after acknowledging this uh, uh, great uh, people, prominent people coming from all walks of society. But I will tell you uh, a little story about what this house represents. This house was uh, not only the residence of one of the great uh, diplomats of Turkish uh, uh, diplomacy, Mehmet Münir Ertegün, but also he had two sons in uh, who were, as you know, teenager years when they first came into this town. And they started developing some friendships with the um, jazz community and music uh, uh, community of this uh, town. Most of them were African Americans. That was the years uh, between 1934 and 44, and it was a terrible segregation time, and no one was willing to be with the, with the black people here, but uh, the uh, sons of our great ambassador. And they started inviting them into this house. Uh, and uh, without, without any prejudice, they hosted them, they embraced them, they supported them, and that attracted the attention of uh, the American Congress and the administration, some people. Uh, and one southern senator sent a letter to our ambassador. He says, Mr. Ambassador, I pass by your embassy every morning, and I see uh, on certain occasions so many black people coming in and out through the front door. And is this true? I mean, what I see, it shouldn't be the treatment that those people uh, receive, he says. And our ambassador wrote back courageously, if I were in his place, I don't know whether I would be able to write such a strong letter response. He says, Mr. Senator, uh, what you've seen is the absolute truth, because we Turks, in our tradition, uh, we always welcome our friends to our front door. That's why you see those, pe those people are friends, so that's quite natural that you see those people coming in and out through our front door. But if you happen to come and be our guest one day, we'll be most honored. But we will make sure that we will get you to our back door. This <laughs> so <laughs> this is... Uh, this is, uh, this is a real history, ladies and gentlemen, which has been developed in this house. And uh, uh, this house, of course, uh, hosted many jazz legions, like Herbie Hancock, uh, Ruth Brown, Aretha Franklin, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., um, who else, John, just tell me, uh, many others here. Uh, Tens of them, they were hosted in this house, just like we are hosting uh, uh, some of uh, uh, very, very, I think, young, talented 
jazz musicians tonight. So we have uh, uh, two really, I think, very important people coming all the way from Turkey, uh, not to only to attend to this jazz concert, but I think I kindly ask them to be with us tonight. That is, uh, these, these are the, our family members, actually. That's why I forgot. So I do apologize from them and from you. Um, we have um, here Umit Boyner. Umit, uh, thank you for coming. She is the chairwoman of Turkish Industrialists and Businesswomen, uh, Businessmen uh, Association. Uh, and we are proud to have her here tonight. Thank you. <laughs> and the second one is uh, uh, one of our talented uh, diplomats uh, who is now uh, working together with Umit, um, my mentor, one of my mentors. At least this is a self-serving statement, perhaps, if you ask him. But anyway, I consider him as uh, one of our Really, I think, uh, uh, very talented uh, elder masters. And Ambassador, please, uh, thank you very much. Welcome, Vural. He served in different uh, posts, like Moscow, Tehran, uh, uh, United Nations. And so, uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you.